Day 16 of Microsoft Azure Administrator. Hey everyone, this is Manjeet Rawat, your online instructor. And in this class, I'm going to guide you about load balancers. You know that Microsoft and every cloud service provider can give you dedicated space where we can configure load balancers to balance our workload. And also it will help you to enhance the speed of your website or application that you hosted with the help of any cloud platform. So as you know that we are still on page of Microsoft Azure networking. So in networking, lots of content that we need to cover. Recently, we talked about uh, how to configure Bastion, what are the prerequisites to establish Bastion. I hope everyone okay with the points that we discussed in previous class. Today, let's talk about the different types of load balancer. This is our Azure portal, right? And if I'm going to open more services and select our network part, just need to click on uh, networking, right? So multiple options are available in networking, right? And we need to know about the work of each and every network. This class will help you to understand about all the types of load balancers. So this is load balancer. You need to click here and it will show you four different types of load balancers that you can configure over at Azure portal. Uh, these load balancers are one is normally standard load balancer. Second is application gateway content delivery and DNS load balancing. So let's talk about the use cases. In case of uh, CDN, you will get the access of Azure front door. In case of DNS load balancer, Azure traffic manager can help you. Four different types of load balancers we are able to establish over Azure portal, normal or standard load balancer. Second is application gateway. This is also a type of load balancer. Azure CDN, or you can say that Azure front door that help us to balance the workload from different different web servers that we establish and apart from that we can also establish our azure traffic manager the work of azure traffic manager can help us to configure load balancer with the different types of uh, server that you establish in different geographical location so i'm going to guide you everything because your concept must be clear about the load balancer then you are able to establish your load balance over Azure portal. I'm talking about the practical. Firstly, your doubt must be clear regarding the work of these load balancers. So I'm moving to our whiteboard and uh, let me tell you about the gap between these, these four different types of load balancers which are available. So let's just start with the basic task like uh, one is uh, standard load balancer standard LP. Second, we are going to talk about uh, application gateway. This is also a type of load balancer, application gateway. And next, let's talk about uh, Azure front door. And you should know about the use cases of Azure traffic manager. If anyone asks you a question in case of technical round of interview, anyone asks you a question like uh, uh, how many methods we have to balance the workload over Azure portal. So you can say that we have a four different methods to balance the workload over Azure portal. One is the standard load balancer, application gateway, Azure front door and Azure traffic manager. Let me tell you about the work of these load balancer. First one is a standard applicable for all types of setup types of setup all types of setup in the sense you can configure it for ftp load balancer you can establish it for web load balancer any kind of web server that you want to establish you are going to set up a storage or database this load balancer will help you to balance the load for every purpose right but the application load balancer can help us to configure only for web server or you can say that application server. This load balancer is specially designed for web server and application, uh, any kind of application server that you establish. Second important part, need to create VNet with two subnet, right? We cannot create our application gateway using default subnet. Uh, you are going to use default subnet, you must need to add minimum two subnet in, in default VNet, you need to add minimum two subnets to establish our application gateway. Second important part, it will provide WAF 
and also it give us option to configure SSL secure socket layer. I'm talking about HTTPS options available. WAF is the built-in feature of application gateway that help us to enhance the protectivity of our uh, web servers that you are going to establish in the backend. Next, apart from this, talk about Azure front door. So Azure front door, let's take an example. This is globe and uh, you are going to establish, you know that Azure established their data center in different geographical locations. So this is the data center of our uh, um, uh, that the data center that is established by Azure and you, you established your uh, web server maybe in location of India, right? And you establish your e-commerce website and uh, you are getting a response from different countries as well. Like from a USA, you are getting a response. You are getting a customers from the USA location, but you are not planning to establish a second web server in the location of USA. So in this situation, Azure front door come into the picture and will help us. Azure front door can help us to create the cache memory of your web server that you establish in India location. It will create the cache memory of data center of USA and uh, it will help us to enhance the speed of our website in different geographical location. And it will help us to maintain the latency of your website. No need to establish a physical server in dedicated in target location. You just need to create one Azure front door and with the help of front door, we are going to create a cache memory on the particular location and that the entire users or customer will get the access of your website easily with high speed in compare of another countries. As it is, we have another uh, uh, like option, which is uh, Azure traffic manager. In case of Azure traffic manager, it is also depend upon the DNS, right? Multiple data centers are available and number of data centers are available. All the data centers are connected to each other and um, you establish your load balancer, you establish your web server in location of India and second web server you are planning to establish in location of maybe USA, right? This is another location, USA and this is India, right? And you are trying to set up LB between these two load, uh, between two um, location between two different uh, web server that you establish in different geographical location. Then in this case, traffic manager come into the picture. Using traffic manager, we are able to establish load balancer between two different web servers that you establish in different geographical location. Right. So this is basic information about the different types of load balancers option available on our Azure portal. For every administrator for Azure AG10 certified engineer must need to know about the concept of these four different types of load balancers. I'll definitely show you the practical of every load balancer. As you know that Teach Me Cloud always try to give you quality based content. So I'll show you the steps how we can establish normal load balancer, how to create our application gateway with the help of different subnets and by using the VNet. We'll talk about the traffic manager and also we'll discuss about uh, Azure front load. So this is enough for today's and we are going to talk about the load balancer practical by tomorrow. Thank you so much. Do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye-bye.